Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So I apologize, I've been MIA recently. I have had a lot going on in my life and YouTube takes up a lot of time. <laughs> So I'll try to get out um, videos as often as possible, but if they're not weekly, I apologize. And yeah, so I sat down for like an hour and filmed a really good, really long video about something yesterday and I plugged it into my computer, the little SD card and all of it got erased. So I was like, great, it's been like two weeks, I really need to put up a video. And on my lunch break right now, I have about... 20 minutes and I thought, okay, what's a quick video I can do that's been requested? And I went, aha, physical fitness for boot camp. It's super easy. So many of you guys have been requesting it and I'm just like, why? Because um, like I said, it's really nothing to worry about for uh, boot camp for the Air Force, but you guys want it. So here I am, I'm gonna put it out for you. I talked to some people that have been to boot camp more recently and pretty much nothing has changed. So I'm going to give you the rundown of the exercises you'll be doing, the exercises you should do to get ready for it, which is pretty much going to be the ones you're going to be doing, <laughs> and running and how often you do it, everything. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. Okay, so originally when I wanted to do this video, I wanted my husband's help. I wanted to demonstrate all the exercises, but I just cannot coordinate all of that. And it is really hard to film and exercise and everything at the same time. So this, I'm just going to describe all the exercises and feel free to Google or YouTube them. They are everywhere, but all of them are pretty easy. So you're going to be doing PT every single day except for Sunday. can't remember if you do it Saturday. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, you do it first thing in the morning. You don't eat breakfast. You go straight to PT. And what you're going to be doing first is the calisthenics. So push-ups, sit-ups, that kind of stuff. And then after that, you're going to be doing the running. So for the calisthenics, the main exercises that you are doing, push-ups. It sucks, but that's you do a lot of push-ups. Push-ups, sit-ups, flutter kicks, um, what are they called? Pyramid push-ups, squats, jumping jacks, and burpees. And those are the main ones myself and my friend could remember. So let's we'll just start from the beginning. Push-ups, super easy. The thing was what um for the female obviously I'm a female and in the female flight you had to do like uh the first week you had to do like five and then they would be like okay keep going if you can if you can't drop and you would drop to your knees and keep going and the next week you were expected to do 12 and then 14. So it's not like you get there and they're like, you need to drop and give me 50 push-ups. It's not like that at all. In fact, I heard a rumor that they can't even do that period anymore. But when I was there, they were called MTI tools. And the entire flight, or one person actually, Radcliffe, you know what happened. <laughs> um, you would have to drop and do push-ups and flutter kicks and burpees. But you did it as a flight and it wasn't a big deal. Anyways, it's not... Hey, welcome to boot camp. Drop down and give me 50. You work your way up to it. I said that in a lot of the comments that they'll work with you, and I meant it. They'll work with you. So the first week you do five, second week you do 10, 15, 20, so on and so forth. If you can't do all of them, you just drop. And um, it's not like an MTI is like watching you. There is one MTI in the front calling out directions and a few walking through the rows of you, and that's it. So don't panic. It's, it's really not that hard. So just normal push-ups. They also do pyramid push-ups, which is when you do one push-up, you roll over, you sit up, and you go like this. And um, I was in the 420th, which is the Gators, and we would say, Gator roll, and we would roll over. And um, then you go to two push-ups, Gator roll, two arm things. It's, it sounds silly, but it gets really tiring after a while. I think that would always be like the last thing that we would do. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I just want to make sure I get this all out. Okay, the next thing is squats. Just normal squats. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next thing is burpees. Uh, get used to burpees. You're going to be doing them a lot in your military career. <laughs> People at PT just love doing burpees. So a burpee is when you hop down to the ground from standing to hopping down to the ground, do a push-up, hop back up, and you jump up and you kind of, not touch the ceiling, but you touch as high as you can and repeat. It is the worst exercise in the whole entire world, um, but it's a good one, if you know what I mean. 
Okay, so push-ups, pyramid push-ups, and burpees. If you look at it, they're all kind of forms of push-ups. The Air Force loves push-ups. Uh, you have to do it for your actual PT test after basic training, so you might as well get good at it now. The next thing is sit-ups. With this, you grab a partner and they hold your feet and you just do normal sit-ups. This again happens in your actual PT test, so again, try and get good at them. Um, I feel like there was a different form of sit-ups too. I think we would, oh, we would also have to do side sit-ups. So it's like, you kind of go to one knee, but you'd have a partner who threw all that and you would switch back and forth. And again, they start off at five, 10, 15, 20. You don't have to be good at it right off the bat. Uh, next thing is jumping jacks. Pretty self-explanatory. Be good at jumping jacks. <laughs> and what was the other thing I said? All right, so the last thing that you're going to be doing that we could remember was flutter kicks, and they also use that as an MTI tool. So you'll probably be doing a lot of flutter kicks, and it's when you lay down, you put your hands under your booty, and you lift up your legs, and you're just, do, 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 and you can't let them touch the floor, and I think sometimes they'll yell out six inches. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, my dog is really demanding. Uh, sometimes they will call out six inches, and you'll have to hold it, and then back to doing the flutter kicks. So those were the main ones that I would really worry about. Um, if they've added anything, it's probably along the same lines. So I would just really focus on doing your push-ups, your sit-ups, and burpees, which will probably help with both. Uh, the way that I got good at push-ups is I did them a lot on my knees and I got my form to be good. So I have a straight back and I would go all the way down. Not to where your boobies are touching the floor, but. 90 degrees with right here, uh, your elbow. And once I got good at that on my knees, like I would do 20 or 30 on my knees and I'd be like, okay, I'm too sore. Then I would kind of do, work my way up. And I would do five regular push-ups, 20 on my knees, 10 regular push-ups, 15 on my knees. And I would really work my way up. The minimum for women is 18, so you don't have to do very much. The minimum for men is a lot more than that. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but it's a lot more than that. So just uh, start early, work your way up, and don't freak out. They're going to work with you. And as far as sit-ups, uh, planking helps a lot. Easy. Stop. Planking helps a lot with sit-ups, um, in my personal opinion. Whenever we have a PT test coming up in the flight, we will do 30 60, so we do 30 push-ups and then a 60-second plank because it's hard to do sit-ups in uniform. It's really constricting. Uh, but that helps me a lot with my sit-ups. So if you're not good at sit-ups, focus a lot on your planks. Maybe do a 30-second plank, flip over, do 30 sit-ups, something like that. The minimum for women is 39, and the minimum for men is a lot more. I think it's like 50 or something. It's quite a bit more, or like 60, actually. Okay, last part is the running. <sighs> so you're going to go to the track, and the first thing you do is you run Daisy. Honey, please stop. Come here. Come here. Okay, the next thing... <laughs> Okay, the next thing that you're going to be doing and the last thing you're going to be doing for physical fitness there is running. So you're going to go to the track and before you do your actual PT with the squadron, they time your run time and then you get a belt depending on your time and I think it's red, yellow, green, and blue. Red is the slowest, blue is the fastest and if you're the slowest, you're in the middle lane, if you're the fast or the Inside lane, if you're the fastest, you're on the outside lane. So you would go in groups according to your belt, and you would run as like a pack. So that was probably the hardest part for me because like you can't fall behind. If you fall behind, the MTI is going to find you and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> so um, you run as a pack. I think it's for like 15 to 30 minutes. I want to lean more towards 15. Um, there's a huge timer outside. So you run as a pack for all that time and you're just running and you're running and you're running. People can be really mean during that time. I had a girl like pull me back because she wanted to get in front of me and I was just like, you got to keep your cool. <laughs> and so after you do the group running, you do self-paced running, which does not mean walk. 
It doesn't mean walk. Don't get it confused. <laughs> um, a lot of people thought it meant walk and an MTI was very quick to correct them. So you're just running at your own pace. In the beginning, it was very slow, but near the end, Rivera, not Riveras, I believe her name was Riveras. Rivas, Rivas, sorry girl, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Rivas was like my running buddy, basically, unspoken running buddy. And her and I, were yellows, I believe, and we had to stay in the yellow lane, but we were doing so good and we were running so fast that our MTI was like, McMahon, Ravis, get in the blue lane. And we got to go and we were like so proud because we were passing everybody. Um, so definitely try, you're only hurting yourself if you don't try and you walk. And then after the self pace is sprinting. Now they'll have a really big siren. I think you sprint for 30 seconds and then you walk for 30 seconds, like a fast walk. And You'll be running the self pace and then you'll go and you'll walk a fast paced walk and then you hear and you're supposed to run as hard as you can and then you hear and you get to a fast walk and yeah and then that's the end. Uh, they do have porta potties out there so if you ever have to pee you can run off and you can go pee you have to like why are you going to go pee and if there's a really long line all the MTIs will be like forget about it and you have to leave so. Uh, just try to pee beforehand. When you wake up in the morning, you have like 10, no, you have like five minutes um, to go brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. That's a big thing. Because in that pack, you're all so close together. And if someone's breath smells, ooh, you can smell it so bad. Um, so you just go and you brush your teeth and pee before you go. And then you march over to the fitness pad and yeah and then after PT you would either go straight to the dining hall or you go upstairs and then shower it was more so that you would shower the dining hall was just that we had like a lot to do that day and you would shower and then go to the dining hall for breakfast I'm sorry my animals are fighting like a lot today go stop hi you want to say hi no she's really hyper Okay, and that's literally it. Uh, the only other physical thing that you're doing is marching a lot. And that sounds silly, but I went during the summer and it was hot, hot, hot. And it was a lot and um, you had your duffel bag at times and it was just hot, strenuous work, but it feels so good because you're bettering yourself. So just look at it that way. Uh, a good way to get ready for the running is do not run on a treadmill. Uh, it's a lot easier than running on solid ground. Don't know how or why, but it definitely is. So get outside, go run. It's getting colder out, so sooner the better. Uh, if you do have to run on a treadmill, start it off as a 1.0 incline, and that'll kind of set you up more like you're running outside. And then just work on your sprints and your distance running. Same for outside, do a lot of sprints. Sprints get your heart rate going really fast, helps burn more fat. It's gonna help you a lot with your running. Okay, so push-ups, planks, run outside. Those are my main tips for getting ready physically for basic training. Okay, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. I do see them, I do write them down, I have a lot of videos I want to do. It's just a matter of finding the time to do it. Uh, I have got a new camera here and I'm kind of thinking about doing some vlogs. I'm not sure how good they would be because I can't really take my camera everywhere, but I would totally be willing to try and do it for you guys. So leave a comment down below if that's something you'd like to see. And lastly, I said in my last video I made a Twitter if you guys want to ask questions on there and I found I'm a lot better about answering them on Twitter because it's just a lot easier to feed them through on Instagram, or not Instagram, uh, YouTube. People comment and then reply and then they ask another question and I, I get really lost and I'm just like, and there's a lot of weird comments like, oh, you're hot and I'm just, so if you have a legitimate question you need me to answer, Twitter is definitely the best um, avenue to go about and it's just my name, Miranda Golnick. I don't use it for personal stuff, just Air Force questions. So hit me up on there if you have any questions you'd like me to answer. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> oh my god.